As an agricultural society and being a charity, we're there to promote education. So my role is to promote horticulture, agriculture and arboriculture. And I do that um, not just at the shows. We're here as a resource for schools to use all the year round. Um, and horticulture fits so beautifully with the curriculum, um, particularly at primary level. Uh, it ticks all the boxes, basically. A lot of schools are involved with community cohesion and there is something called extended services and through them I'm working with Great Malvern Primary here in Malvern, um, St Matthias here in Malvern, um, I've got schools in Kidderminster that we will be involved with and again that extended services is reaching out to the wider public, getting parental involvement. The children love doing this. Uh, it's, it's an opportunity that they are never probably going to get in the rest, for the rest of their lives. Uh, they might be growing carrots at home in their garden, but to come and show what they've been growing at home in front of other people is fantastic. They've got thousands of people walking past, talking to them, uh, which just wouldn't happen in normal life, and they love it. And it's linked to the curriculum, um, Dig for Victory with the Year 6 curriculum of World War II, um, so it's making connections for them, uh, which they, again they couldn't make in a classroom, so it's fantastic. We've got pack chow, red lettuce, miniature corn, lots of things really. We've learnt quite a bit because we know what, what fruit and vegetables are quite are good to eat and stuff. And we know which what mints taste like, smell like and stuff. And we know which plants are meant to be grown in what, what different environments. I've learnt how to properly plant them, not like just dig a hole, put a seed in, plant it and then water it. 